Hi, I'm John Patrick Green. I'm the writer and artist of the graphic novel series Investigators. Investigators stars two alligators, Mangle and Brash, who wear vests and solve mysteries. And I'm going to show you how to draw one of the characters. First, get something to draw on and something to draw with. Uh, it can be paper and a marker, like I have, uh, but it can be anything that you have permission to draw on. So, I'm going to be drawing Mango from Investigators, and to start, I usually begin with the head. And I start with the back of the head, and then I draw two loops that will be where the eyes go, and then a long line for the top of the snout, two smaller loops for the nose, and Mango has a curved chin that comes all the way back to the back of his head, like that. And there is Mango's head. So next I do the body or torso. And the torso for each of the investigators is kind of like a crooked square shape. And there you go. Pretty easy. And then I do the arms. So Mango's arm is just going to be at the side here. Finish that off to make three little fingers. And I will draw his other arm on this side and do the same thing. Three little fingers. That's not perfect, but good enough. Uh, then I do the legs. So Mango's legs start with this leg are basically just tubes that kind of come straight down they could kind of be a little bit at an angle like that and draw the next one like that and then I add feet which will come out at an angle with toes just like the fingers the edge. One, two, three. And then I draw little lines to indicate where his feet bend at the ankles. And then he needs a tail, of course. So the tail can just kind of hang like that. Getting very close to the edge of the paper. There's enough room. And then make sure that the tail goes behind his legs like that. And now he's almost done. He basically just needs some details. So I'll give him little dots for eyes. And then a little dot for each nostril. I will draw ridges on the back of his neck there. They always have four at the back of their head. And then the ridges continue on the tail, there can basically be as many ridges that will fit. Uh, so now I will give him a mouth. Uh, so let's give him a nice smile, which can sort of be a little bit of a half moon or almost a banana shape with a little bit hanging off one edge. Uh, give him some sharp gator teeth. Fill that in. And because he's an investigator and he's going to solve crimes wearing his fancy vest, we have to draw that. Now the vests are pretty easy. I start with a V for the top of the vest and then a W for the bottom of the vest. Like that. Give it a couple of buttons. And now we're almost done with drawing Mango. 
He needs some little belly stripes. So there's usually about two stripes there. And then three stripes there. A little crooked. Now we have Mango, and he's basically finished. And he's wearing his vest. And he's ready to solve a mystery. Uh, but of course, because this vest is very exciting spy technology, we should give him a nice little gadget. So let's draw a little arm, robotic arm coming out from his vest here with a little clamp at the edge. And I'll give him a classic magnifying glass as a gadget because detectives often need them to look closely at clues. And they can be a little hard to draw because it can hard, be hard to make a circle look the proper shape. And I'll kind of close it off like that, and then I'll give it a few little stripes to make it look like uh, glare on some glass. And that's how you draw Mango from the investigators. And uh, that one's Mango, and that one is Brash. And if you want to draw Brash, he is basically the same shape, but his head has a square chin, and that is the difference. So thank you very much for joining me as I draw one of my characters. I hope you had fun.